हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर मनीष शर्मा आई एम कैंसर स्पेशलिस्ट एट राजीव गांधी कैंसर इंस्टीट्यूट एंड रिसर्च सेंटर नीति बाग साउथ दिल्ली ऑल ओवर दी वर्ल्ड मार्च इज ऑब्जर्व एज अ कोलोरेक्टल कैंसर अवेयरनेस मंथ एज पर ग्लोबोकॉन टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी कोलोरेक्टल कैंसर्स आर अमंग सेकेंड मोस्ट कॉमन कॉज ऑफ कैंसर इन वूमेन एंड थर्ड मोस्ट कॉमन कॉज ऑफ कैंसर इन मेल्स एंड हेंस इट बिकम्स इम्परेटिव टू डिस्कस अबाउट the causes risk factor symptomatology and treatment of colorectal cancer in uh, today so colorectal cancers are mainly sporadic in nature so when i say sporadic it means that uh, we don't find the cause of colorectal cancer and few other colorectal cancer they are hereditary in nature when i say hereditary hereditary means that the cancer has come from the parents because of the problem in some of the genes that is at the at the dna level the example of such a syndrome is lynch syndrome in which the colorectal cancer occurs at early age in the patient's life other risk factor for colorectal cancers are smoked tobacco excessive alcohol intake excessive red meat or processed meat intake and obesity so once we have we know the risk factors of colorectal cancers we should also know what are the symptoms of colorectal cancers so colorectal cancers can present in three different fashions so they can present asymptomatically that is routine finding on the colonoscopy they can sometimes present with the emergent situation such as obstruction of gi tract and hence the patient can present in emergency department other than that uh, the other signs and symptoms of colorectal cancers are Uh, recent onset of change in bowel habit that is recent onset of constipation or diarrhea recent onset of anemia leading to the fatigue abdominal pain any abdominal mass similarly the rectal cancers they present with pain in the rectal area bleeding in the stools and the narrowed caliber of the stools the left side of the colon and the right side of the colon present with a different kind of symptoms so right side of the colon cancer patients present with anemia and bleeding while the more of the left side of the patients left side colorectal cancer patient present with more of obstructions so uh, once uh, the patient or the person presents with such a symptoms and signs in our opd we try to investigate the cause for that so to establish the cause we need to do a colonoscopy colonoscopy is basically a flexible tube with a camera at the tip and it is inserted from the rectum and whole of the colon is visualized once we visualize the colon any of the mass or any of the abnormal area in the colon is biopsied and the biopsy is seen under microscope once the diagnosis of colorectal cancers is established by the biopsy we try to stage the tumor so stage means that how far the tumor has spread beyond colon and rectum so to stage the tumor we do a contrast ct scan of chest and abdomen or alternatively we can do a pet ct scan of whole body so the stage 1 and stage 2 means that colorectal cancers they have not spread to the nodes while the stage 3 means that the colorectal cancer has spread to the nodes stage 4 means that colorectal cancer has gone beyond uh, their boundaries and they have gone to the distant organs such as liver or lung so once we have established the diagnosis of colorectal cancer once we have established the stage of the colorectal cancer now comes the treatment so early stage cancers that is stage 1 to stage 3 are treated with uh, surgery followed by full 6 months chemotherapy in high risk patient while the few patients who are low risk patients they can be treated with the 3 months of chemotherapy or alternatively few of the patients they can escape chemotherapy as well similarly the rectal cancers if we talk about rectal cancer the treatment remains the same that is the surgery and chemotherapy but in addition to surgery and chemotherapy the rectal cancer patients need the radiation treatment as well once the treatment uh by surgery or chemotherapy is complete all the patients they have to be on follow up scans and follow up imaging for at least for 5 years talking about stage 4 uh, 
colorectal cancer. Stage 4 colorectal cancer, the treatment options are chemotherapy and targeted therapy. So what kind of targeted therapy we are going to use would largely depend upon the sidedness of the tumor. That is whether the tumor is left sided or whether the tumor is right sided. And apart from the sidedness, uh, the mutational type also determines what kind of targeted therapy we are going to use for our patients. Even though it is a stage 4 tumor, but few of the patients, they are eligible for surgery and long term survival even in stage 4. So no talk would be complete if we don't talk about the screening protocols of colorectal cancer. So screening is done in the people who don't have any sign and symptoms. That is, it is done in the asymptomatic person. And the colorectal cancer are the cancer in which the screening protocols are well established and the programs they are well established. So colorectal cancers are screened with the help of colonoscopy and for an average risk individual it should start at the age of 50 years every 5 yearly till the age of 75 years. Apart from colonoscopy other options are to do a CT colonography or to do fecal occult blood testing. If we do the screening procedures the colorectal cancers they are detected early and early detection leads to the complete cure of the patients. Thank you.